So again, good morning, John Ray, and while waiting for your classmates, welcome to our session for this Thursday um, at 11. Uh, by the way, yung, ang schedule nato 11.30 or 11 a.m.? So, 11 po. Uh, 11 talaga. Okay, nakalagay kasi 11.30. So, we are now on... Um, second part of our um, second part of our session and we are supposed to do our our course module module one no so uh, you were around last time genre no so last time I gave you a short um, orientation of your of the Google Classroom, if you can access, but if not, um, we can. I, I, we will communicate through the group chat, naman. So last time, um, under module one, I, I posted here two videos on the morning and afternoon session, and our uh, and also a supplementary video on the on the um, module one. So before we continue, let's watch this um, um, supplementary video while waiting. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's it. So hopefully you like the video. So um, the video just will uh, just introduces you to the profitable farming systems and that includes um, three livestock out of the 10 that exam that uh, was given example. So that includes the, the poultry, uh, whether broiler shot or layer, broil, uh, broiler for meat and layer for egg and, and also of course the hog or swine, meat, pork, and um, even rabbit. Kamu makawan ba mo rabbit? No, ma'am. That's a weird question. So anyway, we will continue our discussion, which is which is okay, I'm going to do one. Let's go back to um, the first module. So as you can see, um, can you all uh synergy pala paki so to continue So last time we already had discussed the, the um, course outline and we are now on the mid, uh, after we also talked about first part of module one, which is the status ng livestock and poultry production. And um, ayun nga, we, we based on the Philippines Statistics Authority, uh, it is shown, um, the different volume of production and the inventory of livestock and poultry. So, kanina, yun yung mga prices, farm price and gate price. So, um, in, here, in here nga sa ating, um, sa ating uh, based, based on PSA, walang nakalagay na rabbit, no? But these are the, the different prices the gate price as of 2019. So we also talk about the roles and significance of livestock and poultry in our in, in our economy and even to each of us. And um, I guess we just have st uh, stopped on the production system last time. We have a lot of production system. Um, meron tayong, um, these are classified as intensive, semi-intensive, and extensive. So what are this? Extensive meaning um, livestock are kept on grassland on all the operations are open in place. So if you have huge um, area, so you can do this extensive. But there are, however, small short shelters for the young animals during extreme weather condition, masyadong mainit. No? Especially for the swine, hindi sila pwedeng masyadong mainit at malamig. And uh, usually nomadic and transhuman system, uh, which are very difficult to improve because they involve continuous movement. So uh, long time ago, um, during um, hunting, that they, uh, when, uh, before domestication of this poultry started, lahat ng mga tao ay nomadic. So transfer lang sila ng transfer. So kung ano makita nila ng mga wild animals, yun lang din ang at kanilang kinakain. So sedentary systems are this, are ex extensive system where mo which is most appropriate in large areas or pasture land and can provide grazing and browse for goats. And this involves only minimum labor of capital investment. But you need to have, of course, uh, own a huge amount of land. 
So extensive farming is usually large in comparison with the numbers of working and money spent on it. And it is all the, the oldest method and requires extensive land and so on. And um, however, in our time now, or if you are not fortunate enough to um, to inherit a big, huge lands, kasi ngayon, based on agrarian reform program, we cannot own lands more than five hectares. No, if you have if you have more than five hectares, like ten or hundred of hectares of land, so pwede yung uh, maging uh, masuko sa ano sa agrarian reform for distribution. But then. Um, they said that you can possibly own that if meron kang pasture land. So, kamo ba? Can you view here? Do you have your own um, kanang area or farmland? Or ano lang, kondo lang? How about Jessa? Namoy farm or pila ka hectare ano yung yuta? Ano ma'am? Na ma'am, pero one hectare lang siya, ma'am. Yes, but that's huge enough, di ba? Yes, ma'am. How about John Ray? <laughs> yes, John Ray. Dili pa maihap ni John Ray lahang kayo pa. Ano. And in fact, most sa atin, um, just speak John Ray if you're ready, okay? So most sa atin ay um, yung mga lupaing, tahayupan, et cetera, are pinag pa within the family. So anyways, to continue, while well, John Ray is still, I, I, we cannot hear you, John Ray, so just um, anytime you can speak, no? So, okay na po, okay na po ma'am. Okay, so na mo yung yuta, John Ray? Na ma'am, mga three and a half or four? Wow, mga, mga big timer, mga ni mga sudyante na ako eh. So, kung sa'y tanong ninyo, John Ray, or na mo yung hayupan? Yes ma'am, we raise kan ma'am, karabaw, na hapon may, may goat, and then manukan ng gamay lang, ang, ang manukan. Ay millionaire na siguro yung family, no? Dili, ma'am. So, ikaw pa ang mukha na na mudala. Siguro, or, or daghan man mo, but anyway, um, hopefully, this course will give you a lot of ideas, no? Or inspiration to become the next millionaire ng sama. Tagasama ba ka dyan, Ray? Of course. Hindi po mam taga Bohol. Ay uh, mean nasa ka, naka sa Bohol ka ron? Hindi pa man nandito pa ako sa Samal. Okay. Dito dito ka po. Hindi ka nindi nasa Samal o nasa Bohol? Nasa Bohol po ma'am. Ah, okay. Nga na naman ka sa Samal nagtuan. Of course. Nang diri lang po ko na sila. Uh, sige ha, sorry. Kuan kay ko no kanang kanang tabian. Anyway, to continue, for the advantage naman ng sedentary pero under pa rin siya ng extensive than the nomadic is less labor per unit area required to farm large areas and mechanization is very effective and annual welfare is also improved and lower requirement ng inputs at local and environment and soil are not damaged by overuse ng chemicals. While the disadvantages nito is much yield and large land requirement limit. So second type is the semi-intensive, no? This uh, semi-intensive shed since animals are confined in during the part of the day under the roof and allowed to graze during the day, the time, daytime. So concentrate feeding is done in this system and these are suitable for dairy goat and sheep. So uh, we have the so-called tethering, tethering of goats. Uh, this care is taken uh, when uh, there is no possibility of strangulation by enlargement with vegetation and other goats. So 
This is to obtain fresh hard herbs or herbage and different feed plants. So, and the third is the intensive system. Nung nakakulong na talaga sila. Uh, confined in one place and the animal movement is restricted. And pull, like for poultry, pig, rabbit are very suitable for this. In developed countries, there are, I, have a lot, I have posted a lot of supplementary videos and um, which we will also watch during. And so most of them are intensive system. So in the mixed farming, the fourth type is combination of livestock and poultry. And this is very economical with better utilization of farm by products because you can utilize feed and fodder and recycle, recycle the farmyard manure, such as dung into gauze, slurry, and also as soil fertilizer. And it has constant income to family throughout the year while indirectly enhances standard of living also. So we have also the so-called integrated farming system. No, it's the integration of more than one different types of agriculture and ally enterprises. So lahat na yan, my crops, animals, uh, bio, fuels, and so on. So if you can see here, pwede ka mag dairy crop poultry with fish, fish and duck, and sheep and goat. So there's a lot of advantages now that include productivity improvement, net profit, and fixed income, sustainable siya, and balance yung diet na pwede mong makuha. So uh, I always believe na although you don't work for offices, you don't work somewhere under, under an empl uh, employer, as long as you have a piece of land, even small as less than a hectare, you can you can live no um, bountifully no? if you know how to manage your farm and you and you know how to produce crops and vegetables and and also farm animals. So again, it's pollution free environment, recycling and increased employment. So you can also hire some laborers to do if you cannot manage alone. And of course, it will enhance high standard of living. However, um, medyo mahirap sa ating mga Pilipinos na maging mas yumaman, no? And that includes, it, we need a heavy investment initially. But uh, luckily, the, the, the Department of Agriculture and the government is now, um, is now answering that, that uh, constraint, no? So they, they will give you initial initial capital or they can let you borrow no and involve involvement ng multidisciplinary activities like animal husbandry lack ng marketing if you don't know paano mamaligya but because of pandemic now um, we have a lot of ways no to market our products through online and lack of knowledge of the preparation and feeds non availability of new variety so yun ang mga constraint so meron din tayong tinatawag na specialized farm when this are um production of sole species or one species so sole income lang siya like for cattle cattle lang lahat buffalo pig or poultry or for pure breed or for breeding lang siya so i hope you're going to master this common terms in livestock and poultry production like for example the abumasom you know, it means the fourth compartment or two stomach of the ruminant animal so if you're going to take um agriculture uh, license in ag agriculture exam so these are all very important to know you know in in agribusiness naman na uh, uh, board exam so this, I, I, kasi I, I am a licensed agriculturist, but but not an agribusiness. So um, I'm not yet familiar with the uh, agribusiness. So anyway, this I hope you you will familiarize all of this. So enumerate ko lang lahat, no, artif, a rundown, and it's for you to 
of course, memorize or just familiarize. So artificial insemination, just like uh, you, it's not the natural way, but placing the sperm in the female reproductive tract. Uh, we say bitch, no? It's not only for humans, but also for animals. It's an adult female dog, no? So, uh, but for, kung tawagon kag bitch, Helen, so, masoko ka, no, kay bitch, at least you are the, you're a beautiful bitch. So, Helen, okay na ka? So, you just, um, you just ask or in you can uh, ask question any any time no so boar we have an adult uncastrated male pig so pag boar ganin siya uncastrated siya nga male pig lalaki nga ano and also baby calf a male calf about a one week old and then bus indicos is the Ham cattle found in tropical countries and bull stars. These are also are actually scientific names. Domestic cattle from the Celtic short and short horn. No? Both indicus and bull taurus are cattle. Bovine for cattle and breed is of course group of animals with distinct shapes and colors. So we call them breeds. Breeding bull or stud bull are adult being used for breeding. And we also have bro broken mouth, you know, if the teeth is missing. And kinsa to, did you check out Brows is the shoot twigs leaves of brush plants. Buck is a male of species ng goat, deer, rabbits, you no. Know? And buckling is an immature male goat. Um, buffalo, bull calf, male young, and buffalo calf, young of either sex, buffalo high for calf, female young one, bull is male of bovine, and bull calf is a male young one under under one year of age. So buller, a female which always in heat or is true. So, so if it's in heat, parang, um, you know, kung maglandi ang, just like maglandi ang, ang babae. So, balak or steer, an adult castrated male using for carting and tillage. Bordizo is an instrument used for bloodless castration. And calf is beef animal. Calving is the act of giving birth to young animal. Calving is inter interval or the interval or the length of time. Cannibalism is yung kakain ka ng other members of the same species. Kapun is male chicken whose reproductive organs are removed and kaponization is the process. Carcass is the dress body of an animal. Carpet is the wool. Carrying capacity is the number of animals that can be grazed. The cost is to make the animal fall on the ground. Castrate is to remove, remove the testicles. Cattle is the animals of the family bovine genus bulls and chevron is the meat from goats. Colossum is the first meal. Concentrate is the feeding. Contain less than 18% of fiber. Conception rate is the percentage of pregnant when bred. Cow is the female bovine. Creep is enclosure to which only young of the species have access. They may be fed separately. And creep feed is used to provide a special feed. And crisscrossing is the mating uh, in, among crossbred females. And crone, an old broken mouth eel, which has been retained in breeding flock. And cod, in ruminants, is a ball-like mess of feed, brought from the stomach to be retrieved again. Cull is used to dispose of the poor animals in herd or flock. So if you're not doing good in the subjects, you will be culled. Dumb is the mother of an animal. Dead weight is the weight of an animal after it has been slaughtered. And the horn is used to remove the horns of livestock. Julep is a hanging fold skin under the neck of the skin. And this body is to remove or the horn buds. 
duck is to remove all part of the tail. Doe is a female, also co, uh, which is, uh, the male is the buck and for goats and deer, rabbits. Double rig is tes tes both testicle retain the abdomen or double region. Draft animal is used for pulling loads or yung na pang araro natin or pang sa bukid. Drench is the medicine in liquid form administered to the animal through the mouth. Now, these are all capitalized now from, from A to Y. So, we are almost there. <laughs> so, naanata dari sa one na Aha, nageta dari. Duck is used to remove all the part of the tail. Um, we're done with this. Illustrator is the instrument to place strong rubber bands over the scrotum. And esters is the time which female will accept male for copulation or in heat or so on, love making. Eo is female sheep or lamb. Eo is a mature female sheep. And eo lamb is a female young one. Feed efficiency is the ratio of units of feed needed per one unit of production. Feeder calf is wean calf under one year of age and sold for. So we're running out of time. Now we have 10 minutes left. So I hope you will continue this one. Now before I will continue all the terms, let me um, finish it no? before we go to food module two next week. So uh, there are also um, the zoological classification of different um, cattle, buffalo, goat, sheep, and pigs. So there are all other kingdom animalia, chordata, class mammalia, and subclass eutheria, order ungulata, and suborder archodactyla, and And animal husbandry terms, I mean genus, a uh, family that are under family Buvidae, but for goat, it's under Capridae, and sheep Ovidae, and pig Suvidae. So the scientific name of uh, Zebu cattle is Bus indicus, and exotic cattle is Bus taurus. And for, for buffalo or ca for caraba is bubalus bubalis. So, mas madali lang ang bubalus, uh, ang caraba, no? Kay, ang bubalus, yung bubalis. Ano. And then, capra here, because for goat, ovis aris for sheep, and sus domesticus or sus trufa for pig. So, for the terms, we have bovine for the species. And cattle, bovine din or bubalin for uh, buffalo, sheep for ov ovin and goat for caprin and pig for swine. And swine for pig. And group, when we say group of animals, group of cattle is herd as well as buffalo. Group of sheep is flock and also goat or ban. And group of pig is drove or herd or stock. And adult male is uh, bull, buffalo bull for Caraba, ram or top to or for sheep and goat, doe, pig, sow. This an adult, I know. Um, yeah, for adult female again is uh, adult female for cattle, cow, sheep, buffalo or buffalo cow, eel for sheep and doe for goat and pig, sow. But the male is boar, and for goat it's buck. The young male and female naman ay bull calf, hyper calf, or buffalo bull calf, and buffalo hyper calf. And for sheep naman, ram lab or tam lam, and eo lam or chimer lam. And buckling or milking and goat lame for goat, and burling and gilt for pig. For newborn, may tawag din, calf, buffalo calf, lamb, kid, piglet, or pigling. And yung castrated male ay bullock or steer, buffalo bullock, and wither weather, and uh, castrated hag or stag or barrow, and sterilized female, meron din, so they are all called spade, and female with its offspring are calf at foot, and suckling, 
act, the acupuncturation o yung pagnanganak ay called calving for for cattle and carabao then lambing for goat kidding for um ito ganyan ni go sheep pala lambing kidding for goat and farrowing for for swine and the act of mating serving topping serving and coupling and when it cries meron din tawag bellowing for cattle and and carabao bleating for sheep and goat and grunting for sow. And there are chromosome numbers is 60, 50, 58, 60, and 38. So yung goat is medyo kasing dami din ng cattle. So that's all for module one. Do you have any questions? Clarifications? Anyone? So next meeting, we're going to talk about module two or dairy cattle management. So I also have a lot of videos to show you on this um, on this Google Classroom. So hopefully you will try to use the Google Classroom because uh, it is also take this opportunity to learn new technology and new application. So, di lang TikTok for Minte, Facebook, or social media. So, next uh, meeting, we're going to check this one. So, if you have time or spare time and you're very interested, so you may also click on this, no? So, you just uh, ask me if you want this one. I will always be sharing these videos on the group chat kasi meron palagang iba na hindi pa nakakapasok sa sa group sa Google Classroom natin. So going back So I'll just continue, you no. Know, if you have questions, you can you can raise your question anytime and if we finish the maximum 45 minutes, so mag-end lang diretso ang call and then um, maybe since wala well, I don't hear any questions from you. So you you just you just um, message me sa group chat kung napa mo further questions, no? Or um, kasi uh, in in less than three minutes or four minutes, mag end na ang call. So automatic na po na mahumanta. Okay. So I'll just continue continue ito mga terms, no? while you're still thinking of a question. So let's start from the Y2. Um, so uh, where from where we end up. So meron tinatawag tayong yield or yield or a barren or non-lactating animal. Yearling bull or unconstrated male between one to two years. And yearling a horse over one year and under two years of age. Or yung weather or weather or adult as male shape. And wattle is a pro projection of skin hanging from the chin or throat. And veal is the calves younger than three months of age. So for slaughter. So actually, mas masarap yung, yung veal, no? Na meat. Kasi mal uh, malambot siya. No? Uterus is the part of the female reproductive system. Kagaya din ng tao. Urine is the liquid waste collector in the bladder. Just the same for all animals. And other is the male producing gland of mammals such as cows. We also have testosterone is the male hormone that controls the traits of the male animal. Testicles, the male organs that produce the sperm cells. Teeth, yung outer outlet ng male. So other. And steer is the male bovine animal that was castrated before reaching sexual maturity. Sing calf is the aborted calf. She buffalo and adult female buffalo. So removal of wool, a shearing, and semen is a mixture and seminal process fluid and the sperm, just like the uh, males or the, the human person. Scrotum is the sac like part of the male reproductive system. So, kagaya din ng lalaki sa ta. Rumination is a process of chewing the cud. And ruminant is an animal that has stomach divided into several components, no? So, meron apat na stomach ang cattle, sheep, and goats. So, they are all called ruminants. So, raffish yung kinakain. 
which contain 18%, more than 18% the crude fiber. And reproduction is the pro production of offspring. Repeatability is in dairy cattle is the measured confidence that can be placed on the predicted difference being a true measure of both ability to transmit genetic characteristics. So for cattle, uh, it means parang repeatability or parang uh, yung kagwapuhan ng kanyang breeds. No? Rumen is the first largest compart compartment ng ruminant stomach. Rectum is the last part of the large intestine. Rock and top is the adult male sheep who are breeding. Ram lamb is the male young one. Puberty is the age at which sexual maturity is reached. Hold is not having horns. Placenta is the structure by which fetus is nourished in the uterus. Phenotype is the physical appearance of animal. Pelleting is the grinding of feeds into small particles and then forming it into small hard form called pellet. And pedigree is the record of the ancestors of an animal. Parturition is the act of giving birth. Ovum is the ovum seed egg. Ovulation is the release of egg cell from ovary. Muhai is the fleece of an angora goat. Eel. <laughs> Livestock means stocks that are live and are used for production and so on. Lambing is the act of 